Hello, this is Resolent Bearcat, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. I release three new videos each week for this title. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified when they are released. All right, we're headed into town. So we woke up this morning about 7.20. Let's see, let me check something right quick. Just remind ourselves when the last helicopter event was. 129.27, yeah, not really time. Now what we're gonna do today is we're going to, we're gonna recon the rest of the town to see if there are any boarded up survivor houses. Um, what we've done, if there aren't, we are going to start making preparations that after the next helicopter event, we are going to be headed to Muldrow, you know, start making our way toward Muldrow. So what we want to do is come over here to the other side of town and we want to check things out and see if there's anything that we can collect over here. Now we are just, there's a few zombies around here, not a lot, just one or two here or there. I'm not really going to stop right now. The point is, is to figure out if there are any more, if there are any survivor houses. So what we want to do is get to the other side of town. And then we're probably going to go on foot and just check out the rest of the thing. Uh, there's a zombie or two or five down here. Uh, there's a bunch of zombies in that area. Not really going to stop right now. I'm not in this area anyway. So let's see. Now we're headed over into this area. Now we've looted some of these houses that have the little X's on them on the mini map you can see over there. And there are quite a few zombies still down in this area. Clearing out all this stuff, there's gas. We've been down that street. Let's go over here. Let's see. We just, we want to wander around. We've not, we, there were no boarded up houses there, but we're going to go over here. There's going to be lots of zombies. So what we want to do, there's no boarded up things there. There's a little house down there. And we're going to attract a lot of attention. So we will try to keep moving around and be careful about our, our movements. We want to get over here on the other side and see if we see anything that's boarded up. Good bit of zombies over in here that we would be fighting our way through. I was hoping to see one of these big houses with boarded up facilities, but nope. Oh, we'll run over a zombie or two. All right, nothing over here. Now, the zombie population's not out of control. Obviously, it would take a while to kill all these things. There is a little shed there. Oop, run over a little zombie there. Now, down here, there is a survivor marked house down here. We will get out down here and f clear out whatever we have to to take this. Now, the unfortunate thing about this is this is not the best thing down in here. I've, I've got a bunch of... Th Ooh, look at these zombies. There's a lot of them. All right. I'm having to dodge zombies. I'm not able to actually do a whole lot of looking around for boarded up houses. None of this is boarded up. This run, this unit down here on the end was, oh, there was a little shed that's marked there. It's that shed that got marked. Okay, well, interesting. Well, let's cut the car off and let's see what we can do about killing a few of these zombies here and check out what's in that little shed right there. Because I believe that shed is what had the mark on it. No, let's not do that. Okay. Mistimed it. Oh, nobody's coming back there. Ah, oh, not too bad. Okay. Let's wander up here. No one's in there. All right, this got a few zombies up here, but I'm not seeing any survivor houses. Got this guy over here making a bunch of racket. Let's see if I can open the door. Nope. He will have to bust his way out. All right, we will let we will leave him to it. Uh, is there anybody down here? Yep, there's a guy. There's some guys coming right here. All right. Let's see. Take these guys out. 
Got another one coming. I haven't seen any weapons or anything. I do have a katana with me. If we get into an issue where we feel like we're in trouble, we will take the katana out. Still got a zombie somewhere. Oh, I've still got zombies coming. Alright, that one was a little closer than I gave him credit for. Okay. I think they're starting to trickle in from the... Oh, they're still coming off that porch and diving off that porch. Look at that. Alright, well we will... I guess we'll move our way around the corner of this house. I need to get into that house there, so I guess I need to clear out here. However, whatever has come down through here. Let's see what I can do about clearing this. Alright. I'm taking that group out. Inside. Let's see if I can kill you in here. Maybe you have a key. Oh, uh, wait a minute. All right. Police vest. Let's see. No key. All right. Well, it's worth a try. Let's see if I could get a key out of one of these guys, but didn't get one. So let's go over here and see what we can do about breaking into this building. See why it was. All right. Let's close the window so they have to fight their way back in. And let's see what is. Let's see what was so special about this building that it was marked. Well, we nails and screws, a hand axe. We'll take those. Very good. Some scrap metal and melt welding rods. I don't really see what was so special about this building. Okay, well, with that being the case, we'll get back in our car and we've checked that one off. We'll head on around. Let's bring up my map right quick. Uh, let's see. And what we want to do is we'll mark that off as well. And I believe that was all of the marked houses. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go down these streets just checking things. And I do think I'll do this on foot. Now that I think about it, the uh, seems like that will be better than going in the car. We just walk down through here. Look at those all those zombies, would you? And I'm not really concerned with how many of them I pick up. We just want to check down through here. Look at them. They got a lot of attention. Oh, there's a police car. I wonder if that thing's in any good if that thing's in good shape. Let's see. No, it's not. It's wrecked. I see a shotgun. If we see a katana, we'll stop and make a fight. Other than that, we are just going to walk down through here. We are the primary purpose for doing this is to check for survivor houses. We'll we'll also get a feel for how many zombies there are in an area but we're not going to stop we're just literally going to walk we'll have a big horde following us over here the little park and they'll see us and follow us these guys are going to come down here and we will have to go right here and you're going to come over the fence Woo. okay yeah look at that Oh, look at that. That's, that is a horde. Okay, now that is a horde right there. I am going to have to run up through here. Okay, there we go. I got through there. Ooh, man, there's a lot. Oh, a trailer. That is the first trailer that we've seen. Okay, we are going to have to come and get that. Let's see what we can do about taking this horde away. Uh, the vehicle that it is actually attached to is not good. We're not going anywhere without that trailer. I don't care how good of condition it's in. We haven't been able to, we haven't seen a trailer. That's the first trailer we've seen. So we need to figure that out. All right. We're still seeing lots of zombies. <laughs> All right, let's go down this street. Well, let's see. A burned out house down there. Don't see anything there. And we'll continue on down through here. Zombie. 
Yeah, there's a pretty good pack of zombies down through here. Let's see. Let's move over against this. That way they'll come up through straight up through here. All right, I gotta run around them. Woo! There we go. Oh, there's a boarded up house right there. Um, second house down. I don't have time to mark the map right now. Okay, so there is a boarded up house there. There's another boarded up house. So there's two of them down through here. So yeah, I've got some work to do. I want to get in those houses and get that stuff. We'll see if we can't drag some of these zombies out of here. Oh, there we go. We'll get past those. Wow. This street has some boarded up houses. We have a trailer that we want. Oh, we're finding all the good stuff. Yeah, no. You guys can just follow me down through here. Look at all these zombies. Man, so many zombies. All right, I just wanted to make sure there weren't no boards on the windows there. Nope, there's not. All right, we're gonna go check the other streets and then we will come back down through here. And we're doing this right here instead of tearing up the car. Just because the, uh, yeah. So even though it's slower, what I need is a little scooter. Some kind of little uh, item to scoot around on. Yeah, scooters would be nice. Little motorcycles or something that'd be real quiet. Wouldn't call it, wouldn't have a lot of noise. You could run around on. All right, there we go. Right, we'll run past these a little bit and put some distance. All right, we're just checking the houses as we go down through here. We've seen two boarded up houses. There, and a whole bunch of hordes. We haven't seen any axes or weapons. Okay, we gotta run past those guys, there we go. Ah, panic. Oh, there's another boarded up house. Okay, that's the third boarded up house. And we will continue right on down through here. I have no idea which houses are boarded up, so what we need to do is collect these zombies up as much as we can and drag them out of the area. There's a spear. That was a lot of zombies. There's a fire truck. Fire truck outside the burned out house. They they were responding to a fire. That's a pretty banged up fire truck. No boarded up houses there. We've seen three. We gotta go all the way to the end of this block. And then we can circle around and kind of head back to our truck. With our scouting trip complete. Then we can head back and do a little bit of cooking, I guess. There's a taxi. The, uh, we are going to need to cook, if not today, tomorrow, we will need to do some cooking. Okay, I'm going to run, sprint past you. Trying to make sure I don't get boxed in. wonder how many zombies I have following me. I would imagine I have a whole bunch, but don't know that. Oh, there's some, but it would be a steady stream if I stopped and started killing. Alright, these guys are coming at me. I haven't checked down through there. Yeah, you tried to grab me. No luck. Anxious. Let's see what I can do about smoking a cigarette. Might be nice. All right. No boards on these windows. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, we'd like to have marked those maps, but marking that map would have been very dangerous. That car from a distance looks like it might be in pretty good shape that little truck yeah that thing looks pristine doesn't it that way okay so there's also a truck we want to check out over here might have some good parts on it and down through here the outskirts now what I wasn't doing is I didn't go through any of the backyards I didn't wasn't paying attention to whether or not there were any propane tanks we shall see. Let's get on down through here. We're not halfway down through here. This will be just a recon. There's another truck down there. There was a meta event. I heard a gunshot. 
I see a zombie out there. A dead corpse out there. Alright, got these guys here. Still looking for... We found two katanas, so we do have some katanas. In fact, that is what I'm going to do while I'm coming down through here. Let's go ahead and get the katana out. This is going to be a situation where we're going to want to take out a bunch of zombies. Once we get to it, we want to be able to kill a bunch of them. There we go. We're a little bit hungry, so let's go ahead and eat while we're going down through here. There we go. Yeah, I see you come in here. You are not really of any concern to me. Alright, and we're going to put this back in here. I see those zombies down there. I'm going to put the screwdriver away. I'm going to get ready to take some of the beta blockers. I will. Okay, there we go. Now we're headed back to our truck and we now kill everything that we ran across. Oh, I see a hand axe too. And I see a lot of zombies. Alrighty. Let me run down through here. Just get past you. Okay. No wasted swings. Yeah, I've got people coming. Look at this. Yeah, this would be a nightmare with any other weapon type. As it is right now. Okay, now we have we have done some serious clearing down through there. People that were following us. Is that a, I don't know what that is, I don't know if that's a stake. Somewhere there's an axe. I have no idea where it went. Okay, let's see, what is that weapon right there? Oh, it's a hand for it. In nearly pristine condition, no less. Okay, let's see, I've got to find that hand axe. That was one of the things that I actually won't. Did that come back into here? I wouldn't think it would come back in this far. Butter knife. Yeah, we're... Okay, where did the axe go? Let's see. I'm going to try to find it. There was an axe down in here on one of these guys. I thought it was in one of these first ones I killed. But I certainly don't see it there. No hand axe there. Oh, well. Okay, I'm gonna check these guys right here. Maybe, maybe it was on. Was there a hand axe on what I killed, or was I just was that further out that I didn't see when I didn't kill right now? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, don't guess it matters. Let's head back toward the truck. Half durability on this katana, but we did manage to take out a whole bunch of zombies. Let's see. Way well, looks pretty clear up through there. Let's go back to the crowbar. All right, we will carry the crowbar. Let's see a few zombies down through here. We're going to take them out truck's quite a ways down the street. If we find a large group of zombies, 
on the way up through here we will we'll take you know we'll get the katana back out but if just five or six at a time we're going to stay with the crowbar no you don't all right got that group out no weapons or anything a little shed there I wonder if I should check that out while I'm here uh, probably not four o'clock in the afternoon don't know what we're gonna run into trying to get back to our car let's just get back to our car we've still got to get out of here but there were some survivor houses so we obviously are not done with this town and, and a trailer let's not forget the trailer I want the trailer as well. This area, we should have dragged, dragged most of the zombies up through here. This guy sees us and he's coming. I do see a pack up through there. Alright, those guys are coming. Alright, let's see. Uh, don't have anybody up through there. Let's. These guys. Alright, look at that. Walkie talkie. All kind of stuff that doesn't matter. There's a zombie over there, or a corpse over there, I should say, not a zombie. Let's see what we got here. A little pack, a little small pack. Okay, we'll take you out. use the fence to take some of you out all right very good nothing of any interest on any of you guys well, we've got a vehicle in the road here and we did some corpses right in here this is where our truck is let's see here about getting out of here now don't know what we'll run into trying to get out from this side of town we drove but we have checked everything out and yes there are still some survivor houses I saw three three in a trailer and we will want to find those out and they were on these roads up through here well actually not on that road they were on the next road up over this one right up here is the ones i saw those on but we okay let's go down through here we will continue looting then we're not done we're going to loot all the survivor houses because hey there may be useful things in those uh, weapons and stuff like that but well, we are well set on weapons the trailer is the best find I think in my opinion the best find that we had because the trailer gives us the ability to carry more stuff when we go to head toward Muldrow and the that's the first trailer we've seen now I would go and get that but it's getting a bit late in the day so the the trailer retrieval will be tomorrow we've got a katana we've actually got two katanas and we've got that car right there I want to mark that, I want to remember that car. Um, that's the first house down here. Okay, I think I know where how to mark the car. That, that truck looks like it's in really good shape. We've been down into here before, so this is the commercial district. With most of the stuff, we're starting to get drowsy. Yeah, a zombie here, a zombie there, not many. This area is pretty clean. Not a lot of zombies. Uh, yep. Starting to be twilight. 520, starting to get dark. We are into February now. Uh, there's snow on the ground. 53 degrees, so it's warmed up a little bit. Not quite as cold. And we're getting ready to move, so it's time to get moved up to Moldro and get a garden planted. We need to go get those survivor houses, and then we will call it we will call this town done. Okay, there we go. I think we've had a good day here. So a scouting trip. This uh, this is what the day was about. Nothing more than a simple scouting trip. We'll be back with tomorrow. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available. And check out the links shown here for more gameplay. Take care.